Hello everyone and welcome back to Bookcraft, the world where my friends and I build things from my favorite books and my own imagination. Let's get back into the story. So in the last episode we got to check out the rather colorful houses of one uh, P-Dog Wolf, Nathan One Day, and Jazz Panda. Oops, why they are actually- uh, Jasper beat me! You know, I hesitated. I was like, ooh, maybe? Maybe I'll leave the weather. Maybe it'll be like, you know, nice and and uh, kind of, you know, what's the word I'm looking for, guys? Beautiful. Uh, no, like mm -hmm. to provide ambiance. Like, uh, what's the word I was? I don't know. Dramatic. Anyway, word of the episode. Oh, first of all, bit of bad news. Bit of bad news, guys. What, what's wrong? Oh, good news is I still have my doge head. Oh. <laughs> That's a little bit of good news. It makes everything better. The bad news is that I was on the server with Nathan and I died. And yeah. I, like Nathan, I'm just gonna go ahead and blame you. I think that Nathan I think I think that what happened is that Nathan picked up some of my stuff. But when you're in creative mode like Nathan was mm. and it, you fill your hot bar, then the other stuff just gets absorbed into like the void. Well, I mean, it was your fault for falling right next to where I was standing. Well, so. I didn't know that there was a like 60 foot drop one block yeah, over. Well, you should have been more careful, Stacy. <laughs> okay, yeah, I guess so. Uh, so anyway, um, the my sword is gone. My sword is gone, and so is my my diamond axe, the paper cutter. So all oh. I have is the hole puncher. The the brand new paper cutter is gone. I, it was actually really, really sad. Um, okay, anyway, to the word of the episode. Today's word of the episode is going to be seething. And seething means, well, it kind of means teeming. <laughs> um, seething means that it is like something is really, really full or overflowing or just like coming out the sides. I'm pretty sure that's what it means. So in 101 Dalmatians, uh, the Dalmatians are stolen and uh, someone finally finds them. We'll get to that later in the episode. Uh, and when they do find them, they say, they're there. The place is seething with Dalmatian puppies, which means that it's completely overrun with Dalmatian puppies. They're coming out the walls. Uh, so that is the word of the episode. Um, actually, let me check in this chest. I have, okay, I need these shears. I, I have a lot of milk buckets in here. Uh, I should probably put some of, I'm going to put my doge head away for now. The redstone, Aww. the string, the leaves, the saplings. I'm going to put some of this stuff away. <laughs> a little whimper from Nathan. Um... I was hoping that I had like a spare sword or an axe or something. I have a spare axe, but that's the hatchet axe. I really feel that that's like special. Like I should, you know, hang on to that or something. Um, all right, let's go down and see what supplies we have. Oh, banner time. So actually our very own Jazz Panda came up with a banner idea that I really, really, really like. Um, by the way, uh, where are you guys? Are you guys over at your houses? Um, yep. Yeah. Pretty much. You call it a house. Um, I need to make, you know, I guess I need to make another diamond sword. Let me see if I have, didn't I use all my diamonds? I've got, well, I've got the diamond in the item frame combined with the diamond that's in my chest upstairs. I suppose. <gasps> P Dog Wolf went into creative mode. That's terrifying. It's okay. It's okay. I'm sorry. Just kidding. That's allowed, P Dog. Oh, look at this. I have 15 bone meal. Oh, and actually, I have 52 bones. Let me grab those. So for um, for Just Panda's design, I'm going to need uh, a few more ink sacks, and I'm also going to need uh, some bone meal and some wool to make the banner. And I'm actually really excited that I finally get to make a banner uh, on Bookcraft because uh, I think there's been a little bit of confusion into, as to what I mean when I say a banner for Bookcraft. Uh, so now we're going to finally show you guys uh, what I mean by making another diamond shovel. Whoops. Okay, there we go. Diamond sword. Got it. Uh, okay, I have a diamond sword. Nathan, I am going to need you, though, for one uh, part of the banner. It's uh, actually, I think there's two parts because I don't think I have... I need a vine, and I also need a creeper head. Oh. So Good if luck you could just jungle in a supercharged creeper. 
Yeah. I mean, so, no. Uh, <laughs> I, I would like uh, I would like to find those things just randomly, you know, just like floating around uh, as if they, you know, fell out of the sky, Nathan. Oh, okay. <gasps> A vine! How fortuitous. I from where. Wow. I know. I don't even know. Oh, I'm over at my farm. A creeper head. That's not rare at all. <laughs> all totally right. not rare. Perfect. Oh, hello, bunny rabbit at my farm. Do you like it? Are you eating my carrots? Don't eat my carrots. Hello, pig. They're so cute. I love my farm. I need to harvest more uh, because I feel as though there's something coming up. Oh, I know what it was. There's something coming up. The next book. Uh, not even this book. The very next book. Uh, I'm gonna need to make some some hay bales. <gasps> the black sheep. The black sheep. I think someone. And when I say someone, I think me. Uh, slept in the black sheep pen and then didn't close the gate. And the black <laughs> sheep are escaping. Do I have any uh chicken feed? Let's see here. <gasps> no, there's no um. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's just come out here. Uh, oh uh -huh, no! Uh -huh. Nathan got that one. Guys, to be fair, I was inside, and I so I didn't really hear it as well. Uh, come on, guys. Yeah. In here. There's only two of them. I don't know if there used to be three. Uh, <laughs> okay, come on in. There you go. Oh, where'd the wheat go? I don't know. All right, we need six white wool. So we can always... Actually, no, you can't. If you have colored wool, can you use bone meal and make it white? I don't know. I don't know I either. I, can, I, I could so. always make another sheep Actually, white. Yeah, I, <gasps> I got seven! How lucky! Wow. I got seven. I didn't even check this chest. Oh, there wasn't any in there. All right, perfect. Nathan. Yes? To the Hall of Reading. Oh. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Lego! Lego. I, I'm gonna be a while because I'm 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 running over there. I should have taken the train. Oh. Okay, Nathan, to the crafting table. When I to said the, the hall of table. reading, I really meant to the crafting table. I figured. So here's the steps. I've written these down. Hopefully, I remember what I wrote. So first, we need to make a blank Minecraft banner, like so. I have made it, Nathan. Then congratulations. I need to put the banner here. Oh, I didn't kill squid! Nathan, throw some ink on me. Um, there uh, we go. Ink. So that has made us a black banner with a black roundel? I don't even know. I, don't, I have no idea. Then I'm going to put the banner in the middle again. Bone meal over here. Ah, thank you for the ink sex. And You're the creeper head here. You can get this creeper. How, Nathan? Remind everyone. By blowing up another creeper using a supercharged creeper. That seems difficult. Or just going into creative like we do. Ah. Uh, now I'm going to put the banner up here and put bone meal uh, around it like this. Jasper, how did you even come up with this? And Nathan, stop flying through me. Uh, I was <laughs> bored and I was messing with banners. Great story. Uh, <laughs> okay, okay now we're going to put the banner down here and we're going to put ink sacks on top of it in a triangle like this. Looks strange, but trust it. There's there's a method to Jaspanda's madness, uh, to That's quote rare. Hamlet. Uh, okay, and now we're going to put the banner up here and put bone meal uh, all the way across like that. Grab this, and then we're going to put the banner on the bottom, put the vine on top, and here we have a white banner with a black roundel, with a white creeper charge, with a white inverted chevron, with a black chevron, with a white base fess. And a black board door, door indent. I don't understand banners in Minecraft. Uh, but there we go. Nathan, uh, we also need to fly this banner outside of the station during the 101 Dalmatian. So can you make four more of these? Oh, yeah, sure. How do you do that again? You duplicate them somehow. Like that. I know, but how did you do that? 16. Magic. My goodness. I don't need 16 of them. All right, let's go ahead and add the 101 Dalmatians. This is the official unveiling, Nathan, of the banner. Woohoo. Ta-da! Looks like a face. 
No, it doesn't, Nathan. It's mm. a paw print, which is actually perfect because, one, this looks like the cover of the book that I showed in the last episode. I'll show it again right now. And, two, uh, black paw prints are actually something that comes into play in, in the end of the book uh, or in the movie, if you've seen the movie. Uh, so I actually think it's perfect. And it's kind of it's like bold and black and white and graphic. And it's exactly what I wanted in keeping with the other banners uh, in the Hall of Reading. Uh, okay, Nathan, uh, let's... Let's go ahead and add the banners to the outside now, and then um, I'm actually going to take the train over to where P-Dog is working. Uh, here, you take those two and fly up, because I can only add uh, one there and there. Where else did they go? Uh, I think they went on the top of the, s the fence posts, I th or, or no, they went on the sandstone. Uh, yeah. Part? Yeah. Okay. There. Fabulous. Uh, the 101 Dalmatians banner is flying. Hello, Ms. Reads a lot. Uh, all right. Oop. Yes. I there. totally let you have that one. So yeah, all right. I put Clar. Oh. GG. Because we all know it's a weather Clar. All right, let's go. Uh, Nathan? Yes? Are you working on the track? Maybe. Am I? I'm not gonna go up that, am I? Oh, good. Good. Woo! Phew. Uh, goodbye, minecart. <gasps> Look at this! It's a station! This is cool! So now you can actually choose to come this way over to the 101 Dalmatians area. And then we're getting high because of something that we're gonna- No, 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 no. <laughs> I lived. Half a heart. Half a heart. Half a heart. Half a heart. <laughs> okay. I'm good. I'm good. Just let me eat. One heart. I have a heart. Uh, okay. So today's episode uh, is going to be doing something very, very special. The back, uh, the project in the back that we alluded to. P Dog, are you in the back? Um, I'm in my house. Let me come out. One do sec. you want me to come? Do you want me to come see your house? Um, well, I changed a few things, not much. What did you change? Um, a bit of everything, I think. Oh, my. Yeah. Um, you can come to the viewing area if you oh, like. Okay. Um, welcome to my imagination. Uh, it's quite wonderful and tiny. That um, is something. Yeah, I'm a small-minded person, so it's kind of tiny. Um. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hey! I love it. Uh, I love it a lot. I especially love it uh, right from this angle. Ah, closed. Well, <laughs> I'm great angle. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's beautiful. Let's tell the people what we're working on back here. Um, oh, wait. Why is it fenced in back here? Is oh, <gasps> Jasper? Is it here? Is it here? I don't oh. see it. Oh no! Oh, I just oh. killed him. Oh, I just killed him! <laughs> oh. No! There was a magical creature here that Jasper just slaughtered. Oh no. Alright, we spawn another one. Uh, okay. okay, so P Dog, we were on the server late one night and we were discussing uh, part of the book which is called uh, The Twilight Barking, which I will just briefly recap. Uh, is actually... Oh, wait, what's happening? Object successfully summoned, given speed... Uh -huh. What does that say? Oh, times 100 to Jeb for 100,000 seconds. Here's Jeb. Jeb, you're back! Run. You did... Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute. I can barely... I can barely see him. He's so fast! He's too fast! Wait, slow down, Jeb. Slow down, Jeb. 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 So once we break this fence, essentially, there's just always going to be a rainbow sheep in Bookcraft that is, like, the speed of lightning, is what you're saying. Yep. <gasps> he stopped! <laughs> he stopped! He's here. He, he's just chilling. Why? Was that 100,000 seconds? Couldn't have been. <gasps> oh! 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 Ah! Mm. 
Get out. Don't let him out! Don't let him out! Oh. No! Oh. No! Oh, Jeb! I hope to see you again sometime, Jeb. Oh, look! He's in the water! Where is he? Oh my gosh. He's oh, over he's there. <laughs> oh, Jeb. Actually, that's actually really fantastic that we have Jeb now here on the server because if you watch the beginning of Bookcraft, there was a bit of a crossover between my old series, The Cube, uh, and Bookcraft. And now there's a bit of a crossover between uh, Bookcraft and Dogcraft. Oh, no, gonna drown. Jeb's gonna, gonna drown! drown. Uh -oh. Save Jeb! Save him! Save him! Save him! <laughs> Not again. Got him! No, we didn't get him. Oh. Where's my shovel? Where's my shovel? He's just sitting there. He's just, oh no, he's drowning. Oh no! He's no! Drowning. No! No! <laughs> Spawn him in again, Jazz Panda. Stacy. Spawn him in again. Stacy. What? Is that Jeb? <laughs> Oh, Jeb. Barrel at sea. Anyway, <laughs> let's get in. Oh, here he's back. Jeb is back. Don't let him escape again. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think he would be able to actually die. He looks like he's fine now. Uh, okay, let's talk about what we're <laughs> oh, doing. Oh so, oh no. <laughs> so, in the book, uh, Corolla DeVille, of course, steals the Dalmatians. Um, and so what Pongo and Mrs. do is that they convince the Dearlies to take them on a walk uh, through Regent's Park up to a hill overlooking all of what's called dogdom, which is kind of like, like a kingdom, you know, dogdom. That's adorable. I know, right? Which is basically just like houses, you know, like a neighborhood. Oh, Jeb. <laughs> can I get in his way? Like, can I, like, walk forward here and actually like hit him is he hitting me um, wouldn't it be amazing if i just like died <laughs> <laughs> and it said stacy says was killed by jeb nope i don't think it's gonna i think he's going like through me huh Anyway, uh, okay, so they go up to the top of the hill, and they can see out over a whole neighborhood, and they do what's called the Twilight Barking, which in the movie, of course, is called the Twilight Bark. And what I was thinking about, it just kind of like, wait, did it, was it, was it my idea, or was it my mom's idea? I don't even remember. Shh, say it was yours. It was mine! It was all mine! Uh, I, I had the idea, what if... Uh, P-Dog Wolf could do something uh, like what he did in the map Christmas Catastrophe uh, that I played, where you come over on a <coughs> railway, <coughs> Nathan, <coughs> the railway extends <coughs> over the house. <coughs> you need a cough drop? There we go. The railway extends over the house, and then you see, uh, now, wait, actually, P-Dog, is that where you want it? Um, it can be anywhere. It'll work from pretty much anywhere. I can make it work. Okay. Um, so what, this is called, P-Dog? Remind the viewers what it's called. It's called Forced Perspective? Yes, it is, and it's basically building things really tiny and then seeing them from a, seeing them from somewhere very far away, and then it looks like it's full scale. It makes any sense to anyone? Maybe? Yeah, I'm okay. super excited about this. So originally you were playing around with some designs like this uh, for houses, um, which they don't look like houses up here because I'm 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 down on their level, but above they would. And then you could have like saplings with uh, invisible blocks above them because then they would never grow and they would be trees. Uh, however, the idea is so forced perspective is like one of P-Dog Wolf's specialties in Minecraft. Redstone is, of course, Jess Panda's specialty. And so then I was like, let's bring Jess Panda in on this because the idea of the Twilight Barking is that Pongo and Mrs. Uh, start barking and they're sending a signal saying that their 15 puppies are missing. And all the other dogs start picking up the message and relaying it to other dogs, to Great Danes, to Pomeranians, to Sheepdogs. And then eventually... 
they locate the dogs, but we'll get to that later. So for this, we I was like, okay, well, we could do it at twilight. The houses could be all here, but then Jess Panda could use redstone to actually light up some of the houses in a progression. So like everyone was being woken up by all these dogs barking. And then, uh, then we realized that we could actually trigger it off of uh, a detector rail on the train. So as the train comes over, when you're riding the... 101 Dalmatians line, you would actually trigger <gasps> a dog bark. Genius, Jas Panda. This was totally Jasper. I was thinking, oh, it'll just be cool to trigger lights to go on the houses that P Dog is building. Uh, but then Jasper said, I could actually use the dog bark of a wolf in Minecraft and I could have those happen too and I can change the pitch of them to sound like various breeds of dogs. So can you do, like, walk me through this, Jasper. What is Jeb doing? Okay. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> so, can you play like a high-pitched dog bark? High-pitched. So that is just, you've just like done something to a, a regular Minecraft yeah. wolf bark? Making it sound like a puppy. Yeah, or it sounds even like um like a smaller, like a toy breed, like the Pomeranian from the book. Yeah. Which is super cool. Uh, P-Dog, what you got going on? Um, well, I actually have a secret, Stacy. Yeah. These are not the homes we're going to be using. Okay. Um, if you just come down here, yes. don't worry, I put water at the bottom so you can just fall right down. Okay. And Whee! if you just pop down here, I've actually been working on new designs for homes. <gasps> ah! Do! 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 Why? Why? No creepers everywhere! No! Getting out. Uh, well, uh, one of the houses is blown up, but yeah. don't worry. Um, P Dog, what was the plan? How was I supposed to get out of here? Um, Nathan, magic. <laughs> oh, carrots! Um, I got carrots and brains. I can eat those. Um, and I can I can kill this sheep. This isn't Jeb. Uh, okay, so these look amazing. Walk me through these now that the excitement is over. Okay, well, first you're on the wrong side, but, um, uh -huh. there we go. <laughs> what is this map for? Um, it's because we thought it would look beautiful. Let's just get rid of that. That doesn't matter anymore. Oh. There we go. Okay. Okay. Now, um, what these, these are maps. are the, these are the <laughs> home designs. And basically, whenever a redstone block is applied in the windows, like, right now they're really, uh, like, dark and everything. Uh -huh. But we just take a redstone block, and we can illuminate one of the windows in order to actually make it look like the home's lights are turning on. Awesome! And I thought this would look a lot better than just a little tiny block with a stair on top. These look amazing! I totally, like, I love these little houses, and look, how did you, oh, the door is one block in? Mm -hmm. So they're like tiny little doors? So, and these are going to look even better from what you're talking about, from the forced perspective of being up on the rail. We're going to see these, like, miniature and uh, and they're gonna look totally like houses. I love them. I love all three of them. I don't have to like. We're using all of them, right? Yes, I believe we are, and we can even design more if you would like. And then, is this an actual tree, or did you make this tree? Um, I made this tree, and I made it tinier than most other trees in Minecraft. And so, so then you've got like... redstone lamps behind here. Now, mm -hmm. Jasper, I I guess this just shows how little I know about redstone. I would assume that you would have to have, like, a trail of redstone, like, leading from the train tracks to these houses. But that's not the case at all. I'm yeah. I'm silly. I can just set a block, a redstone block, and I'll set everything off. That's crazy. All right, let's do it. Ooh! 
<laughs> you finished the line up this way. I want to see the force perspective. So Nathan or P Dog, have you put any of the um any of the houses down? I put one of the houses down. You put one of the houses down. Alright. Oh, slow No! <laughs> <laughs> I did not jump off, did I? You did. No one touched my stuff. I'm in with the black sheep. Thank you. I'll be right back, guys. I am going to run the the train. Why are these all powered rails, Nathan? Did you want me to pick up speed? Yes. <laughs> now, wait a minute. I thought we were going to do it so that we were... Because we're basing this off of an illustration in the book. And I remember, P-Dog, that we were talking about either splitting it down the middle or seeing it from the side. I thought that we decided going... Like, forward looking at it, but we can do whatever way you want. Oh, wait. I saw this. Oh, you thought this was the way? Okay, then we'll do it this way. Well, that's I, how the illustration is, so. I said whichever way was easier for you. I do, but I'm, I'm just wondering if the train track needs to curve here. Wait, I don't know. What if the actual rail... No! Is? Oh, gosh. <sighs> I lived. I hit. I was on the roof. Um, you can do whichever one you want. I mean, I can do it either way. It'll work No, just ways. do it. just do it whichever way you want. Well, I want to do whatever way you want. I'm, Dang it, P-Dog! This is literally the loop of nice. We're going to do the force perspective this way. I wanted to uh, show you guys as we're doing it so that I didn't cut to the completely finished project. But P-Dog Wolf has actually transitioned the houses this way. <gasps> Look at Jeb standing right there majestically. It's like he's actually programmed by Jazz Panda to annoy you, P-Dog Wolf. I swear he did that just to annoy me. Oh, look, he's swimming back. Uh, so this looks fantastic. I really like it this way. And I would just like to say that the carpet was my idea because those are carpet squares down there because we were talking about how to make it so that mobs couldn't spawn. And then I thought of that. Just wanted but, to say. And that's kind of ruined now because of the gravel path. But um. Well, that you it, added, P-Dog. I, I know. I... I... I'm sorry. All right, so we're back, and we were actually just having a discussion about books, which is why I wanted to start recording again. I need more mushroom soup, though. Oh, I have one. Hello, zombie. So, Jess Panda was just talking about how he was... Wait, you were supposed to read it, or you did end up reading it? Uh, I was supposed to read it. I read, like, a couple pages, and then I got bored. And the book was Tuck Everlasting, to which... P-Dog Wolf said, I love Tuck Everlasting, to which I said, I hate Tuck oh Everlasting. Gosh. How do you guys hate it? I love that book. It was well, so nice. Well, I never read it. I just <laughs> don't like, I just don't like the concept of immortality, I guess. It, mm. it bothers me. It's like, ah, that, I can't, I can't, I can't think like in forever. I mean, that's a long time. I like it just because I like things that are like what if scenarios i don't know i like that sort of stuff but then you were also talking about how you, both you and just panda really like the giver mm -hmm. we yes, love, love the giver, giver. which i'm Favorite actually book. not sure why are there so many mobs over uh oh sorry oh no <laughs> you just you blew up my terraforming jasper's been working oh, on uh the actual succession of dog barking uh, that's going to happen as you start riding uh, around the the bend here. It's going to start slowly, and then it will eventually be a cacophony of dog barking, to use an old word of the episode. <laughs> <laughs> Not exciting to anyone hey, else? Hey. No? no. Okay, fine. Uh, yes, I am ready, Jess Panda. <laughs> okay, we'll be right back with the finished product. Okay, so it's been a while, and all three of the guys are still on the server. I'm pretty sure that it is ready to test. Uh, P-Dog, Jasper, are we ready to do a test? I believe so. Yep. Woohoo! This is so exciting. All right, so I'm going to put in a minecart, and we are going to test the twilight barking over all of dogdom. I can't wait to see dogdom. All right. Okay, I'm going. I'm going. Oh, wait! 
Do we need to set it to twilight? Like, what is twilight even? Like, like nighttime. Should we do that? <gasps> uh, oh, it was a detector rail. That's awesome. <gasps> Look at the houses. Oh, that is so cool. <gasps> Look at the lights coming on. Oh, that turned out so awesome. All the lights came on in the twilight park. Oh, oh, this is not going to end well. Uh, okay, quick, breathe, Stacy, swim, 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 swim. Okay, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Guys, that was fantastic. Um, I do want to come over here, though, because right before I started recording, I noticed a little something that kind of caught my eye. I thought it was a little peculiar. Um, I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. <coughs> Jasper? <laughs> Yeah, the morbid little thing. Yeah. Mm. Oh, you, you know what I'm you know what I'm referring to? Yeah, I don't like mm -hmm. it either. Yeah. This it's a bunny factory back here. <laughs> Why are there two bunnies in every house and they're all named lights? What is this? Um, I was a bit lazy. I well, it doesn't seem like laziness to me though, because you still made it work. Can you explain like what the sure. bunnies? What is the function of the bunnies in terms of making the Twilight Bark work? How does this whole thing work, by the way? Uh, basically, I just execute a command at the bunnies, so it just chooses a random bunny and sets the command block off. Why did it's you choose like bunnies? That. Like, why not, like you know, chickens? Or silverfish. Uh, I just chose bunnies. <laughs> you just <laughs> hate just rabbits? Oh, I love rabbits. Uh, okay, so, wait a minute. Is this all there is to it, or is there more redstone somewhere else that I'm not seeing? There is. Uh, it's all underground. There's a little stairway. Oh, just it's down here again. End. Let's it get ends. my sword out, yeah? The, the, the stairway the ends! Oh, gosh. <laughs> Why would you do that? I was warning her. Uh, alright, this is cool. So these are all the command blocks. This is awesome. You guys rocked the Twilight Barking. I think that this turned out pretty epic. Thank Thanks. you. <laughs> alright, well, I do want to say a big thank you to Preston and Jasper. I'm going to actually leave links to their channels in the description. Normally, I just leave a link to the main uh, building team channel, but they all have channels too, so go subscribe to them. Uh, but yeah, look at that. The Twilight Barking Over Dogdom from The 101 Dalmatians by Dodie Smith. Pretty cool. Thanks, you guys, so much for watching. Until next time, Paige and Molly love you. Go read a book. It's thumbnail time. Oh, there's a zombie on one of the roofs. Oh, I see him. There he is, just chilling. Oh, wait, Nathan, get out of there. This is what I need. Die. Die. Fall, Nathan. Go down. Nathan, go down. <laughs> <laughs> that was interesting. I'm going to leave that in. <laughs>